Sometimes a 22 isn't enough. Sometimes a 223 is too much. So the Goldilocks is the 22 Magnum, and that's what we're gonna be showing off here today. Nice little Henry Classic. Let's have some fun. Well, 22 Mag going down range. This is some Aguila 40 grain Silver Eagle ammunition. Let's have some fun. Sorry, Mr. Soda. Well, vaporize that, didn't it? <laughs> you shouldn't drink sodas anyway. Wow, what a smooth action on that. All right. Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Having a little bit of fun here today. Uh, this particular version, uh, this Henry here, is set up very basic. Uh, we don't have any kind of backup iron sights. Uh, just a good old rail on the top is how this one comes shipped. Uh, points real naturally, very lightweight. Uh, it kind of trims all the chaff, and we have a round barrel instead of an octagonal barrel, so that also cuts down a little bit on the overall weight. So if you're looking for a 22 mag that is really lightweight and handy and easy to tote around and shoot, uh, this would certainly be the type of gun for you. Uh, this one uses an alloy receiver. So in Henry's roundup of different 22s and 22 mags that they offer, this one's gonna be the most affordable. Um, uses a checkered walnut stock. Uh, I believe this one has about 11 and a half inch uh, length of pull. Relatively long stock, maybe for some shooters. Uh, if you've got a you know younger youngster, you might have to shorten that stock a little bit. But a nice recoil pad on this, checkered fore end, alloy band, really nice setup. This one holds. Uh, now Henry's website says that this gun holds 11 plus one. I was actually able to get 12 plus one in it, so uh, it'll hold 13 shots total. At least this particular model will for me. We've got it topped off with a Type 2 Trijicon RMR sitting in a LaRue Tactical low profile mount. Nice little compliment for this particular rifle. You know, we like our Henrys here, and uh, you know, I will admit, I have never really been much of a 22 mag kind of guy, but I have found myself really enjoying it, and with ammo availability being what it is, you know, for certain applications out in the field, uh, doing a little bit of hunting or whatever, or dispatching little critters and things of that nature, when a 22 just isn't quite enough, this is a nice option. And some of you have probably had a little bit of difficulty finding 5.56. Uh, I was actually able to procure a pretty decent supply of 22 mag uh, to be able to do this video without too much grief. Um, although at a you know, little bit higher price, but 22 mag is not too hard to get right now. This one is a tubular fed magazine. Uh, the rimfire models, you know, obviously don't use the side loading gate. Uh, Henry has released quite a few of their big boy rifles and other classics uh, that utilize the loading gate, uh, which has come, you know, obviously at a ton of uh, requests from their customers. Uh, but most of their rimfires, including the classic here, are obviously tubular fed magazines. All right, I've got 12 shots in the tube. This is some spear gold dot ammunition that we loaded in this. And it actually says that this is... Uh, uh, personal uh, protection short barrel. So I guess that they're factoring this in for some of your uh, short barrel rimfire handguns and things like that, but we're gonna shoot it out of this rifle. Okay, let's have some fun. And man, a really smooth action on this particular gun as well. All right, let's knock that gong down there. 35 yards away. Oh yeah. Nice. One thing that I will mention on this, um, you know, because this is a round barrel and not octagonal, and because this is a, a considerably hotter rimfire cartridge, this barrel does get pretty hot pretty quickly. It is very, very hot right now, actually. Um, so you are burning a lot more powder. If you're not familiar with the 22 Magnum, uh, you're getting, in general, roughly about double the power uh, of a standard 22 long rifle. So you get a uh, you know, good bit of extra, extra juice, which is nice. Uh, you know, old Trey Landry, 
uh, the alligator guy does all the alligator hunting. He's a big fan of 22 Magnum for dispatching alligators for a few reasons. One reason is because I believe the standard 22 has a hard time getting through their craniums, but the 22 Magnum does the job and it doesn't make such a ridiculously big hole in the hide that you ruin the hide, right? So if you're trapping animals, you know, if you're a trapper or something like that, that's probably another reason too. You know, you don't make such a, a viciously large hole in, a, in an animal. And, uh, you know, also cost, right? You know, if, if like a guy like him is out there doing commercial alligator hunting, right? And I can imagine that, you know, if you were shooting 5.56 or any other type of, uh, you know, center fire cartridge, it'd probably start to get expensive. You know, you gotta maximize those profits if you're a gator hunter, right? <laughs> you can't have that expensive ammo eating up all your, all your profits. Okay, so we've got some Winchester Varmint HV. Uh, this is a 30 grain uh, varmint projectile with a polymer tip. And this is running at uh, 2250. So that's a, that is a hot 30 grains going down range out of this rifle, okay? Get our magazine tube back in place. It just indexes into a little key here on the end of the magazine tube. All right, let's give these a shot. Um, now the cool thing about this uh, gun too, even though it's so lightweight, you know, it's alloy receiver, really light barrel, and an overall lightweight package, it doesn't kick at all. There's zero recoil. The weight ratio of this rifle to the power of the cartridge is a perfect ratio of those two components. So this is a perfect rifle for a youngster or a smaller frame uh, lady or anybody. You know, if you're older, you got arthritis, something like that, this is a totally easy gun to shoot. I mean, my 86-year-old grandpa could shoot this thing no problem and would not have a single issue out of this rifle. All right, let's take out a few more targets. Oh yeah. I mean, all headshots there at 35 yards, stacking a nice tight little cluster. Now, the dot on this particular optic is a 5 MOA dot, so if I had maybe a little bit tinier dot, I could probably even be a little more precise with this. Ooh, yeah, she's getting hot. Okay, we are going to try a couple more varieties of ammunition. We're not going to get crazy because I think you guys get the idea, but we, get, we fired some Gold Dot, some Winchester, some Aguila. I've got some Hornady 22 mag here. This is a 30 grain VMAX, okay? I'll shoot a few of these. I mean, I've, I've never really known of a, of a Henry to generally be, you know, ammo picky uh, when it comes to, you know, too many different types of ammo. But just for completion's sake, you know, we'll shoot a few tubes here just to have some fun. And uh, boy, this gun is hot. Uh, it is 90 degrees out here right now. And uh, that in combination with this, uh, Hot 22 ammo, we're shoving down this thin little pencil barrel. Uh, she is definitely getting warm. It's okay, I'm just gonna, not gonna hold it by the metal, obviously. Okay, it's 12 shots in our tube there. Very nice. Okay, beautiful. Okay, 30 grain VMAX from Hornady. Let's give these a try. Nice, no re zero recoil. I, I just, I love it. You know, you get some of the added benefits of having the additional power out of the 22 Magnum, but without all the extra recoil. I mean, if you've ever shot an AR-15 or something, the recoil impulse, not bad at all. They're really gentle rifles to shoot, not very hard to shoot at all. Um, but if you have shot those, it's not even like that. It's, it's less recoil than an AR, which, it's saying a lot. I mean, it's it's just a nice, gentle little push. Really, not much more than a than a 22, honestly. Now, I've shot some of the uh, Aguila 60 grain sniper subsonics out of a standard 22, like a Ruger 1022, and you know those rounds being 60 grains, 
I would venture to say they might even have a little more recoil uh, than a full bore 22 mag round. All right, so I'm gonna load a couple more rounds here and we're gonna let you guys get back to your day. I know this is, uh, takes a little bit of time to reload, guys. I'm, I'm trying to go fast here and explain as I go. Uh, we got some CCI A22 ammunition. Um, this stuff is kind of set up for auto-loading uh, 22 Magnums. But we're going to go ahead and run some out of this uh, lever gun here. Real smooth action on this thing. I'm just so impressed at, you know, for a rifle in this price range, how they can... Uh, you know, keep the action on this thing so smooth, buttery smooth. Let's see. Yeah, so this stuff is designed around the Savage Arms A22. Game, it's a, a 2100 feet per second, 35 grain game point uh, cartridge. All right, let's give it a try out of the lever gun here. Man, all right, that's fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, good stuff. You know, this is a nice bare bones, no frills type of setup if you're into 22 Magnum. And this is definitely one of the most affordable uh, 22 Magnums that Henry offers. I know they've uh, come out with some of their single shot rifles. I wanna say they do have a 22 Mag single shot. Don't quote me on that, I think they do. Uh, that's probably the most affordable Henry in 22 mag, but if you want a repeater, uh, this alloy frame classic, uh, you can't go wrong. Really accurate little gun, and we've got this thing so hot. It's crazy. Ooh, ow, very hot. Uh, guys, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, but anyway. <laughs> uh, guys, have a great day. We appreciate you watching. We hope you enjoyed today's presentation on this uh, great classic here. Wonderful lever action. Uh, we got many more videos on the way. We hope you'll stay tuned. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, click that notification bell so you're getting all of our videos. Uh, definitely like to take a moment to thank all of our Patreon supporters, those of you who purchase man cans. Also, we got some great t-shirts over on Ballistic Inc. Check them out, really snazzy designs. If you like the channel and you love what we do and you wish to support us, those are the most direct ways you can do so. Thank you very much. Have a good one. See you later. <laughs>